Hi guys, this is Lachette from Scotland Creations and I'm back with a new video. This is day 4 of the 21 Days of Yule Challenge by Ivy the Occultist. And I'm making a craft, which was not my original plan, but I had to make something and why not record it. <laughs> Okay, before we go on, if you are following me on this challenge or watching any of my other videos recently, links are still in the description to help out the Palestinian people to hopefully help stop the genocide that is currently going on. Links in the description for history, books you can read, articles, accounts you can follow to see what's currently going on today ways you can contact your local government if you're here in the United States to ask for a permanent ceasefire. The choice is yours. Information is there. There is also information and links for you to learn about and support those in the Republic of Congo and uh, hopefully stop them from being enslaved in these mines where minerals are used for our electronics including the phone I am currently filming this video on as well as things like laptops and televisions. There are ways you can donate and information to learn as well as uh, some links for refurbished electronics that you can use instead of buying new and adding to the supply that these mines uh, supply. So, with that being said, let's get into making, creating the salt dough yule log, which I've never done before. And I originally planned to show you a yule spread um, that I was going to do, but I got the urge to make this yule log for my coven. And since it seemed relatively easy, I went with it. Hi guys, I come to you today and we are going to be making a salt dough yule log. I looked this up online and it's pretty simple. You just need flour, salt, and water. I decided to make a long yule log because I need space for at least six candles and I put all-purpose flour is what you need and I made about four cups of it and I also mixing in the salt and it was I think two cups of salt in the end and the water was about the same amount as well you just mix it up and stir it in all together From here, as you can see, it's just a matter of mixing the ingredients with your hands to get a doughy texture. At first, it was a little dry, so I added more water than what you saw. It was a little hard to film one-handed. At this point, I got out some plastic wrap, and now I'm measuring it out to make sure the dough is long enough to hold all of the candles. I will need six tea light size. Then I rolled it up into a kind of thin rod here in the plastic wrap. I didn't have parchment paper and I don't have a wood uh, cutting board big enough, but this worked just fine. I also double checked the length with the tea lights again at the end there. Once again, off camera, I removed the wax from the tea light metal holders. I need those to hold the spaces while it's baking, or I thought. Um, so I pulled the wax out. I have parchment paper, but it's for my air fryer, so it's round. But I just tear the edges so they'll sit flat. And I put it on a long, two of them on a long baking sheet. And then gently unroll the plastic wrap or uh, the dough from the plastic wrap onto 
the parchment paper. From here, it was just a matter of pushing in the tea light holders and measuring them so they're roughly equidescent from each other. I discovered later that I had pushed some further down than others, but that's something for future me to deal with. Now in the oven, we go At this point, they had been in there about an hour and a half. I've been checking on them every 20 minutes, like one recipe for salt dill ornaments I had suggested, and everything looked fine. It baked nice and hard the way it was supposed to. I tested it with a knife, and then I started using the knife to try to pull up the still hot uh, metal tea light holders. That is when I noticed that underneath, some of them didn't bake all the way through. Some were still soft. So I put it back in the oven for about another 20 minutes, but took it out before then because I started to smell the burning. Yes. <laughs> So this is the final cooked version and I didn't want to leave it like this so I decided to paint it. I looked up something online on how to make things look like wood. It didn't quite come out as planned. <laughs> I used acrylic paints and four different shades of brown letting them dry before adding the next layer in color, starting with the darkest and ending with the lightest, because that's how you have to build up color when painting with acrylics. I believe these are from Michaels. They're the Artist Loft brand that Michaels sells exclusively. To seal it, I use this uh, gesso it's um, a Liquitex brand that I probably got from Michaels. You just spread it on. It's a clear gesso, though it looks white and suggestive <laughs> right now. It dries on clear and you can kind of use this as a sealant. Um, and this should keep any critters away from the salt dough, though the paint probably did that as well. I put gesso on both the top and bottom and inside the candle indentations as well. Making sure to get it in any cracks and crevices because uh, I didn't do a great job making sure it was super solid on the bottom there. After that, you just wait for it to dry. I left it overnight just in case and yeah, it came out great. So that is my salt dough yule log creation craft. That's it for today's video. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming. I'm not doing all 12 days of Yule just because I don't have something to show or say for every one of them. So definitely subscribe. Links in the description to everything I mentioned. The supplies that I used to make this, though there weren't many. And um, the links to learn more about the history of what's happening in Palestine and Congo, and how you can help. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, there are also links to my Instagram and Twitter accounts if you'd like to follow me anywhere else. 
and a 10% off discount code to my Etsy shop where I make all natural bath and body products as well as offer tarot and oracle card readings but that is it today for me thank you guys as always so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye